Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee Advanced Level Mathematics. A level gets so hot. Today I will teach you the Newton Raphson method. Now don't forget. From now on, I will record my videos in English and Cantonese version as well. And if you want to see the Cantonese version, you can go to the type here of this video. We continue chapter ten numerical method ten point three the Newton Raphson method. So we look at the definitions of the Newton Raphson method. The Newton Raphson method can be used to find the numerical solution to the equation of the form f x equal to zero. But in here, you need to be able to differentiate the function f x to use this method. This is the equation of the Newton Raphson formula: x n plus one terms equal to x n term minus f x n terms over the first differentiation of the x n term. The Newton Raphson method is sometimes called the Newton Raphson process or the Newton Raphson procedure. In this method, you use the tangent line. This is the tangent line here, the green line one, and the red line one is the tangent line to find the increasingly accurate approximation of the root. For example. If you think the root is x zero here, you find the tangents, and the tangents focus down into the x one, the second approximation. The values of x m plus one is the point at which the tangent to the graph x n f x n intersects the x axis. From here, you use x zero to find the tangent of the function, and you project into x one. And use the x one of the function to project the tangent to x two, and in this procedure, you can find many iteration and approximation of the roots will with schedules meet the actual roots. If the starting value is not chosen carefully, the Newton Raphson method can converge on a root very slowly, or can fail completely. If the initial value x zero is near a turning point, just see here near the turning point, or the derivative at this point f x zero is equal to zero, just like here the tangents of the curve at this point close to zeros or equal to zero, then the tangent at x zero f x zero will intersect the x axis a long way from x zero in here because it's nearly. To zero, so the tangent will be project into x one, but the x one is further from the actual solution here. So because x zero is close to a turning point, to the gradients of the tangent as x zero f x zero is small, so it intersects the x axis a long way far from the x zero. And if any values x i in the Newton Raphson method. Is as a turning point at this turning point here. The method will fail because the f dash x i is equal to zero, and the formula would result in division by zero because the formula in here you can see is divided by f dash x. If f dash x i is equal to zero, we come out is divided by zero. Which is not valid. Graphically, the tangent line will run parallel to the x-axis and therefore never intersect with the x-axis. Then we never find the solution. Let's see an example. The diagram shows part of the curve with the equation y equal to f x, where f x is equal to x squared plus two x squared minus five x minus four. The point A with the x coordinate p. Is a stationary point on the curve. Point A is the stationary point on the curve, because the tangent here should be parallel to the x-axis. The tangent will be zero. Is a stationary point on the curve. The equation f x equal to zero has a root alpha is from one point eight and one point nine. So it's the range is from here one point eight and one point nine. Explains why. X zero equal to p is not suitable to use as a first approximation to alpha when applying the Newton Raphson method, because the Newton 
regression method, we have to divide by the f dex x. And actually, the f dex xn is the tangent of the function as the xn terms. So this is the decimal point. The tangent will be parallel to the x-axis. So the decimal point is not suitable for using for the x0. Using x0 equal 2 as the first approximation to alpha. Apply the Newton Resson procedure twice to find a second approximation to alpha given your answer to three decimal space. So if f dash x is equal to 3x squared plus 4x minus 5, and x0 equal to 2, we substitute into the Newton Refson method. And we got x1 is equal to 1.68. And one more time, we substitute to get the x2 terms. And the x2 term is x2 equal to 1.8558. And we run up to three decimal space, we got 1.856. And in part C, by considering the change of the side fx over an appropriate interval, show that your answer to part B is accurate to three decimal space. And in part B, we find that this is 1.856. So we substitute f1.8555. We got a negative values and 1.8565 we call a positive value this would be a positive value right we got a positive value so for the side change in the intervals 1.8555 and 1.8565 x equal to 1.856 is accurate to three decimal space for this reason and after the examples i give you throw question for exercise. It's question 2, 3, question 4, and 5. And the solution of the question 2 and 3, you can get it here. For the solution of question 4 and 5, you can get it here. So you can stop the videos and write down the solution. So take out your paper, pens, and calculator. We do the exercise. Good luck. Question number 2 fx equal to x squared minus 2x minus 1. We show that the equation fx equal to 0 has a root alpha in the intervals. Alpha is greater than 1 and less than 2. So we substitute 1 into fx. We get 1 cube minus 2 times 1 minus 1 equal to minus 2. So it's a negative value. And f2, we got a positive value of 3. So we got a negative and a positive values. So therefore, fx has a root alpha, where alpha is between 1 and 2. Part B, using the x0 equal 1.5 as the first approximation to alpha, apply the newton refson procedure once to find the fx to find a second approximation to alpha, given your answer to three decimal pace. So for Newton Refson's procedure, we have the formula xn plus 1 term equal to xn minus fxn over f dash of xn. So we have to find the f dash x first. Since fx is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 1, f dash x is equal to 3x squared minus 2. If we substitute x0 equal to 1.5 into this formula, we got x1 is equal to 1.623 are run up to three decimal pace. Question number three. fx equal to x squared minus 4 over x plus 6x x minus 10. x is not equal to zero. Using the differentiation to find the f dash x, the root alpha of the equation fx equal to zero is lied in the intervals minus 0.4 and minus 0.3. So fx is equal x squared minus 4 over x plus 6x minus 10. x not equal to 0. We differentiate once. We got the f dash x is equal to 2x plus 4x to the minus 2 power plus 6. And in b part, we take minus 0.4 as the first approximation to alpha using the newton refson process once to find the second approximation to alpha. Give your answer to 3 decimal space. 
and we know that the Newton reference procedure xn plus one term is equal to xn term minus the fxn over f dash xn. And if x0 equal to minus 0.4, we substitute to get the x1 here. We substitute into the fun formula and get the x1. And the x1 values is minus 0.32586271457. So it's equal to minus 0.326 if we run up to three decimal pace. Question number four. f is equal to x squared minus three over x squared. x is greater than zero. So that's a root alpha of the equation fx is equal to zero lies in the intervals 1.3 and 1.4. We substitute f1.3. We get a negative values of minus 0.08. And we substitute f1.4, we get a positive values of 0.42938. We got a negative and a positive. It means the fx has a root alpha within the range of 1.3 and 1.4. B part, differentiate fx to find the f dash x. So we differentiate these formulas. We got f dash x is equal to 2x plus 6x to the minus 3 power. And part C, by taking 1.3 as a first approximation to alpha, apply the Newton reference process once to find the fx to obtain a second approximation to alpha, give your answer to three decimal pace. The Newton reference process we have no already. So we substitute x0 equal to 1.3 into the Newton reference process formula. We got x1 is equal to 1.3 minus the function of 1.3 over the derivative of the function 1.3. We got the solution is 1.315972 and something. So we run up to three decimal space. We got the answer 1.316. Question number five. Y equal to fx where fx equal to x squared sine x minus 2x plus 1. The point p, q, and r are roots of the equation. The point a and b are the stationary point with x coordinate as a and b respectively. In part a, we have to show that the curve has a root in each of the following intervals. The intervals point 6 and point 7. If it's intervals point 6, f point 6, we got is 0.0032 something is a positive values. We substitute f 0.7. We got its negative values, so it's a positive negative values between here. We have a root alpha between the 0.6 and 0.7. And the second intervals is 1.2 and 1.3. F 1.2 is a negative values, and f 1.3 is a positive values one negative one positive so there's a root beta between 1.2 and 1.3 the first interval is 2.4 and 2.5 we substitute f 2.4 we get a positive values f 2.5 we get a negative value so one positive one negative we fx has a root feeder is feeder between 2.4 and 2.5 Part B, explains why x0 equal to a is not suitable to be used as a first approximation to alpha when apply the Newton reference method to fx. Since a and b are the stationary point, that means x0 equal to a, f dash x0 is equal to zero. And from the Newton reference method, we got if this one is equal to zero, we have a device by zero error. So b y by 0 is undefined. So x0 equal to a is not suitable for the first approximation with the Raphson rule. And part c, using x0 equal to 2.4 as the first approximation, apply, this to be a pi, not apple, apply the Newton Raphson method to fx to obtain a second approximation, give your answer to three decimal space. This is the Newton Raphson formula. And we have fx equal to x squared psi x minus 2x plus 1. And f that x is equal to x squared cosine x plus 2x psi x minus 
2. We substitute into the Revson formula. We got x1 is equal to 2.4, f2.4, and f dash 2.4. After a calculation, we got is the x1 value is equal to 2.4317 and something. Round up to three decimal space, we got the values of 2.430. Advanced Numerical method 数值法 第10.3节 The Newton Revson Method 看看Newton的Revson Method的定义先 那个定义就是 The Newton Revson Method Can be used to find the numerical solution To an equation of the form fx equal to zero You need to be able to differentiate fx To use this method 你们是需要将这个function fx 是做一次的 one time 一次的才可以用到这个method这个method的formula就是xn加1terms是等于xn的terms减比fxn的terms同埋它的derivative of xn的terms The Newton Revson Method is sometimes called the Newton Revson Process 有时它叫做Newton Revson Process 同埋Newton Revson Procedure 即是有三个名字 the method used tangent slide to find the increasingly accurate approximation of a root. The values xn plus one term is the point at which the tangent to the graph as xn fxn intersect the x-axis. 在这个method里面,首先我们拿一个x0,一个value,然后我们project上去一个function,然后我们拿这个function的tangent,就是这个tangent。project翻下来就是x1 所以这个x0是需要减fx除以fx 所以需要减这一节的value就会找到x1 x1就会慢慢慢慢接近这个root 真正的root 所以x1project上可以用这个method是计算x2如此类推的 但大家要小心, if the starting value is not chosen carefully, 如果x0你选得不是很好的话, the Newton Revson Method can be converged on a root very slowly, 有时会很慢才能得到真正的root, or can fail completely, 或者甚至乎是找不到真正的root. If the initial value x0 is near a turning point on the derivative at this point, f dash zero is close to zero, then the tangents of x zero, f x zero will intercept the x-axis a long way from the x zero. Now, 假设你拣 x zero 是这个点，跟住你 project 落去嗰条方程度，然之后攞个 tangent project 出去嘅话啦，你会见到 x one 啦系反为较为远过个 root 啊，呢个系个 root 本身嚟嘅。咁 x 零系 近啲嘅，突然间就远咗，咁可能会出现一个。Divergence的現象,而不是Convergence,或者很慢才會找到這個FN,而FN是令到個FXN是equal to 0。If any value xi in the Newton Revson method is as a turning point, the method will fail because the f dash xi is equal to 0. 我們看回那個formula, 如果这个 f dash x i 是等于 0的话, 我们就会有一个formula 是divide by 0, 大家都知道 divide by 0 是一个infinitive的数字, 一个undefined的数字, 所以是永远找不到的。Therefore, with results in a division by 0, which is not valid graphically, the tangent line will run parallel to the x-axis, 好像这个tangent line 就是parallel, parallel to x-axis 是永远都跌不到的x-axis, therefore never intersect the x-axis. 我们看第一条的例子, the diagram shows that part of the curve with equation 
y equal to fx， where fx 係等於 x 嘅三次方加俾二 x 嘅二次方減五 x 減四。The point A with x coordinates equal to p is a stationary point。呢個 point A 咧係一個 stationary point， 即係亦即係話佢個 tangent 啦，應該係 parallel to x axis 嘅。The equation f x equal zero has a root alpha 由一點八至一點九，所以一點八應該喺呢一度啦，一點九應該喺呢一度，所以個 root 咧會喺中間某一個位置。A expands y x zero equal to p is not suitable to use as a first approximation to the alpha. When applying the Newton Raphson method to fx, 如果我哋用 Newton Raphson method 啦，而我哋揀個 x 零係 p 呢一點，咁所以如果 x 零係 p 啦，你 project 落條 function 嗰度啦，我哋會計到啦 ，f dash x 零啦係會等於零嘅，亦即係一條 parallel 嘅 tangent 係永遠 project 唔到落去個 x， 所以 x 零等於 p 啦 ，is not suitable for the approximation。First choice. Using x zero equal two as the first approximation to alpha, applying the Newton Raphson procedure twice, 即係兩次 to find f x to find a secondary approximation to alpha, given your answer to three decimal space. 如果我哋用 x 零係等於二啦，我哋 substitute 落個 Newton Raphson method 嗰度，我哋就會計到 x 一係一點八六，再做多一次。十條條落呢度，我哋計到 x 二係一點八五五八，所以如果我哋而家係做到三個 decimal space 嘅話咧，呢、这個位咧就係四點五入上嚟，就會係一點八五六嘅。Part C by considering the change of sign in f(x) over an appropriate interval, show that your answer to Part B is accurate to three decimal space. 呢一條我哋做過好多次啦。既然我哋話一點八五六，所以我哋就會用一點八五五五同埋一點八五六五去擺落個 f x 度計出呢個係一個負數啦。呢個係一個正數，呢、这個應該係大過零。呢個係一個正數啦，一個正一個負，即係中間有個 root。如果係做四寫五入嘅話啦，嗰、那個 root 將會係 x 等於一點八五六 ，accurate to three decimal place 嘅。經過咗呢個 sample 之後。我準備咗四條嘅 exercise， 包括第二條、第三條、第四同埋第五條。第二、第三條個答案就會喺呢一度嘅。第四、第五條嗰、那個答案因為比較長，我就會開另外一張紙寫低呢個答案，大家可以抄低個答案或者影低個答案。做完功課之後，大家可以對返嗰個答案嘅。所以而家準備紙筆同埋計數機，我哋一齊去做功課啦。祝你好運啦！第二條 f x 等於 x 嘅三次方減二 x 減一。Show that the equation f x equal to zero has a root alpha in the intervals one and two。我哋要證明 alpha 由一至到二中間就會有一個 root alpha， 所以我哋 substitute f 一就會計到咧，就會係負二 into 呢個 equation 計到負二，跟住就係 f 二啦。into 呢一個 f(x) function， 我哋計到係正三，一個負一個正，我哋就會知道 therefore f(x) has a root alpha from one and two. Part B using the x zero equal one point five as the first approximation to alpha， 我哋用 x 零等於一點五，抌落去 alpha 嗰度，我哋會用 Newton Raphson procedure 去計一次，睇下個 alpha 再接近啲。嗰、那個嘅 solution， 我哋要計 x 一嗰個 value。For Newton Raphson procedure， 我哋就會有個 formula x 嘅 n 加一 terms 等於 x n 嘅 terms 減 f x n 嘅 term 除俾 f dash x n。首先我哋要揾出 f dash x n 先，而 f dash x n 咧，因為 f x 係等於 x 嘅三次方減二 x 減一。我哋 D 佢一次，即係我哋做一次嘅微分，我哋就會揾到 f d s x 係等於三 x square 減二。我哋將個 x zero 等於一點五擺落呢一條 formula 嗰度 ，x one 就係等於 x zero 減 f x zero 除俾 f d s x zero， 即係一點五減呢一個嘅 formula。當我哋去做曬一啲嘅 calculation 啦，我哋會計到啦，啊
X 1咧就會係一點六三一五七八九四七三七。如果 round to three decimal space 嘅話咧，就會係一點六三二嘅，因為呢度做四四五入上嚟。第三條 f x 係等於 x 嘅二次方減四除嘅 x 加比六 x 減十 ，x 係唔等於零。A use differentiation to find the f x， 我哋要做個揾個 f x， 即係做一個 derivative， 微分佢一次。The root alpha of the equation f x is equal to zero and lies in the intervals 负零点四同埋零点三。我哋知道 f x 等於 x 嘅二次方減四除佢 x 加比六 x 減十 x 唔等於零。d 去一次嘅話，呢、这個將會變成二 x， 呢個將會變成四嘅 x 嘅負二次方加比六。呢、这個就係 f dash x。b plus 我哋 take 負零點四 as the first approximation to alpha， 即係 x 零係負零點四。Apply the Newton Raphson's procedure once to find the f x to obtain a second approximation to the alpha。Give your answer to three decimal space. 我哋去三個小數點後嘅位。Newton Raphson process. X 嘅 n 加一嘅 terms 等於 x n 減比 f x n 除比 f dash x n。我哋代 x zero x 零係等於負零點四落去個 formula 嘅裏邊，我哋就會計到 x 一係等於呢個 formula。照代個數落去，代翻曬落去，我哋就會計到。x 一等於負零點三二五八二七八一四五七 ，run up to three decimal space 就會係你負零點三二六嘅。第四條 f x 等於 x 嘅二次方減三除比 x 嘅二次方 ，x 係大過等於零。我哋要證明 show that the root alpha of the equation f x equal to zeros lies in the intervals one point three and one point four。我哋要證明咧，就係、是。有一個 solution 啦 ，f x 等於零啦，係喺呢個範圍一點三同埋一點四。我哋去代 f 一點三計出嚟嘅答案係一個負數，我哋代 f 一點四計出嚟嘅答案係一個正數，一個正一個負，即係中間係有個零夾住喺中間。So therefore, f x is a root alpha where alpha is from one point three and one point four. B part 我哋要 differentiate 呢個 f x。所以我知道 f x 係 x square 減三 x 嘅負二次方 ，f d x 就係二 x 加比六個 x 嘅負三次方。Part C by taking one point three as the first approximation to alpha, apply the Newton Raphson process once to f x to obtain a second approximation to alpha, give your answer to three decimal space。我哋知道有呢個 formula 啦，我哋就代 x。零等於一點三，落去去計翻 x 一，我哋就會有一點三減比 f 一點三同埋 f dash 一點三，最後計出嚟嗰個答案就會係一點三一五九七二二。OK， something 二，我哋去做到三個小數點位嘅話咧，就係一點三一六噶啦。第五條 y 等於 f x， where f x 係等於。x 嘅 square sine x 減二 x 加一 ，the point P、Q and R are roots of the equation。呢三個 point 係三個 root，the point A and B are the stationary point， 一個 turning point with x coordinates as A and B respectively。So that the curve has a root in the each of the following intervals， 就係零點六同埋零點七。我哋代 f 零點六計到係一個正數。代 f 零點七計到一個負數，即係零點六同零點七之間就有一個 root， 嗰個 root 係 alpha 係零點六同埋零點七嘅。第二個 intervals 咧就係一點二同埋一點三，一點二 f 一點二就係負數 ，f 一點三就係正數。既然一個正一個負，即係中間有個 root beta， 嗰個 beta 咧就係由一點二同埋一點三之間嘅。第三個 intervals 就係二點四同埋二點五 ，f 二點四計出嚟會係一個正數 ，f 二點五計出嚟會係一個負數，一個正一個負，亦即係我哋中間有一個 root， 例如係 theta， 嗰個 theta 一定係二點四至到二點五之間嘅。B part explains why x zero equal to a is not suitable to use as a first approximation to alpha when applying the Newton Raphson method to f x. Since a and b are the stationary point, 亦即係話
，如果 x zero 係等於 a f dash x zero， 應該就會係等於零。而根據個 Newton Raphson method 啦，就會係 x n 減俾 f x n 除俾 f dash x n。如果 f dash x n 係等於零嘅話啦，就會有一個除俾零嘅 error。我哋就會有一個 undefined， 即係呢一嚿就會係 undefined。既然 undefined 啦，我哋係計唔到 x n 嘅。C part using x zero equal to two point four 二點四 as the first approximation apply。呢個我寫錯字，唔係 apple， 係 apply。The Newton Raphson method to apply to obtain a second approximation give your answer to three decimal space。係小數點後三個位嗰、那個 Newton。Raphson method 啦，就係 x 嘅 n 加一 terms 等於 x n 減俾 f x n 除俾 f dash x n， 而 f x 啦就係 x 二次方 sin x 減二 x 加一，而 f dash x 啦，我哋將呢一個 d 一次嘅話啦，就係 x square cos x 加俾二 x sin x 減俾二嘅。首先我哋代 f 零係等於二點四，所以 x 一啦就係。二點四減俾 f 二點四除俾 f dash 二點四，計出嚟個答案啦，會係二點四三零一七零七零零七八。如果我哋去做到小數點後三個位，就會係二點四三，因為呢個係上唔到嚟，所以答案就係 x 一等於二點四三嘅。Okay, if you think this video is good and can help you. Please subscribe and give like. So you press the button at the lower right corner to subscribe and give like to me. And remember, when I have a new videos, you better click the bell shaft and see the new video. Thank you. Finally, muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutors for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong. The SAT examination, or just, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. And the WhatsApp of my telephone number is plus one eight five two six five nine two eight six zero nine. 啊，咁啊，好多谢大家收听我呢个 video。如果你系希望你个 mathematics 同埋你个英文系更加好嘅话咧，你想要一个 private tutor 啦，你可以随时 contact 我嘅，令到你个 DSC exam 啦，或者你想考 SAT 啦，你亦都可以 contact 我，因为我都有一啲私人嘅补习喺呢一两方面嘅。多谢大家 ，thank you， 拜拜 ，muchas gracias。